if you look at the world today, the world is promoting the culture of death, abortion, euthanasia, and in some countries, they even advocate or permit drug taking. All these things will bring about more deaths in the world. And that is very sad for society. Not only the culture of death that is being promoted in the world, culture of individualism. Today, it is all about myself. It's the YOLO, it is the FOMO, it is those people who have this me mentality, entitlement mentality. It's all about, I should enjoy life, I work hard, I can do whatever I want with my money, I want to go traveling, I want to have a good life, without a thought for others, without a thought for the rest of society. This kind of individualistic attitude will ultimately destroy society because it's about myself. Why should we bother about the world? And know, I see the irony behind all these things. Here we are complaining about climate change, we are complaining about lamenting, about resources being used and so on. And at the same time, we are drawn into this throwaway culture, a throwaway culture where everything we use in order to throw. So things today, they are made not to last. And we are actually all sucked into that kind of system and here, after that, we are complaining, oh, you know, the resources of the world, we are repleting them. But actually, we are not concerned about tomorrow. This concern about the ecology, about the planet, most people are more concerned about how they enjoy life today rather than caring for tomorrow's future generation. Sometimes we need to pray, actually, that our world leaders, if they are godly, they will be able to walk the way of truth, ensure that the country has the right moral values to bring everyone together. And so how do we bring this society together? It is important that today we need also to make sure that we have good leaders for tomorrow. If we don't have the good leaders, all that we have built will be destroyed. We need to have faith. We need to be confident that although things might seem going the wrong way, let us believe that the grace of God will triumph over evil. We must believe that the grace of God will overcome evil at the end of time. We need to pray. We need to be alert so that we can truly guide history and form the right values for our people. If you want the church to grow, my dear brothers and sisters, you must help me to do just one thing. Help me to build up the laity, others as volunteers or others as full-time workers to really labour for the spread of the gospel. The more we have, then the stronger we will become. And the good news can truly be given to all.